Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible and meditate on it as we read Deuteronomy chapter 11 from the King James Version Bible. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us and be with us and bless us. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 11 Study and obey the commands. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God and keep his charge, his statutes, his judgments and his commandments always. Know today that I do not speak with your children who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, his greatness and his mighty hand and his outstretched arm, his signs and his acts which he did in the midst of Egypt to Pharaoh king of Egypt and to all his land. What he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots, how he made the waters of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you, and how the Lord had destroyed them to this day. What he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, their households, their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen every great act of the Lord which he did. Therefore you shall keep every commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong and go in and possess the land which you cross over to possess, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to give your fathers to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey, for the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you sowed your seed and watered it by foot as a vegetable garden, but the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drink water from the rain of heaven, a land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it. From the beginning of the year to the very end of the year and 
it shall be that if you diligently obey my commandments which i command you today to love the lord your god and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul then i will give you the rain for your land in its season the early rain and later rain that you may gather in your green about your new wine and your oil and i will send grass in your fields for your livestock that you may eat and be filled take heed to yourselves lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them lest the lord's anger be aroused against you that he shut up the heavens so that there be no rain and the land yield no produce and you perish quickly from the good land which the lord is giving you therefore you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul and bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes you shall teach them to your children speaking of them when you sit in your house when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the lord swore to your fathers to give them like the days of the heaven above the earth victory depends upon obedience for if you carefully keep all these commandments which i command you to do to love the lord your god to walk in all his ways and to hold fast to him then the lord will drive out all these nations from before you and you will dispossess greater and mightier nations than yourselves every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours from the wilderness and lebanon from the river the river euphrates even to the western sea shall be your territory no man shall be able to stand against you the lord your god will put the dread of you and the fear of you upon all the land where you tread just as he has said to you behold i set before you today a blessing and 
a curse. The blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and the curse if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the way which I command you today to go after other gods which you have not known. And it shall be when the Lord your God has brought you into the land which you go to possess that you shall put the blessing on Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side of the Jordan toward the setting sun in the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the plain opposite Gilgal beside the terebinth trees of More, for you will cross over the Jordan and go into possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you and you will possess it and dwell in it and you shall be careful to observe all the statutes and judgments which I set before you today. Amen. Here ends the reading of Deuteronomy chapter 11. God bless the reading and also as we see our living God, I am who I am, is there with you and me. Exodus 3 verse 14. He is the maker of heaven and earth and the word is true as we read in Psalm 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does my help come from. My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither sleep nor sleep. Yes, he will also be with you and me, beloved, as he's promised. Yes, he will neither sleep nor slumber. Yes, for mighty God is there with you and me. Yes, and also each new day, let us praise a living God, as the psalmist says in Psalm 92, verse 2. Yes, that let us bless his name, for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68, verse 19. And we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. Yes, for this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The word is true as we read in Psalm 118. And save us now, O Lord, send us prosperity. The word is true in Psalm 118 verse 25. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read in Hebrews 13 verse 8, I and my Father are one. John 10 verse 30 is true. Also, we, do, we read, it says that I and my Father are one. Yes, as we read in Deuteronomy 6, chapter, verse 4. Yes, so let us awake, be awake in the morning and let us praise a living God for his love towards us as there are myriads of angels surrounding you and me, beloved day and night. Psalm 68 
verse 18 is true. There are 20,000 chariots and more for each one of us. And a mighty God comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. As we read the mighty word, it is saying, yes, in Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. Let us also praise our living God with a heart continually as the word says bind the word around your heart in Proverbs 6 verse 22 for when we sleep the word will keep us when we are awake the word will speak to us when we roam the word will lead us yes the word is true and Bible is the book of life it is the manna to our soul it is the news good news and also it is filled with joy as we read in luke chapter 2 it is the tidings of joy yes the heavens and earth shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away but his word will not pass away matthew 24 verse 35 is true what is your request today my dear brother my dear sister go in the presence of of Lord Jesus Christ put up your request to him and also pray and also read the Bible Jesus Christ will speak to you at least give half an hour from the 24 hours for a mighty God will speak to you yes underline the verses put the date and time he is the God who is omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19 verse 6, He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Revelation 19 verse 16, He is the Alpha and the Omega. As we read in Revelation 1 verse 8, Five times in the book of Revelation, it is written, He is the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, He is the Salvation, our salvation, as we read in Revelation 7.10. Revelation 7.17 says, He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and he will be our shepherd. Yes, the word is true. For Jesus Christ is the living waters and he who drinks of him shall never thirst. John 4.10 is true. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. As we read in John 14, verse 6, He is the way. There is no other way. So let us submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. As also the word says in James 4, verse 7, Commit yourself to the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yes, the word is true. Yes, and draw near to God. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. And he will draw near to you. The word, same word. In Zechariah 1 verse 3. In also in Proverbs we read in chapter 8 verse 17 to 21. The word says, I love those who love me and those who Seek me diligently, will find me. Let us seek our living God diligently. Yes, for he is the God of living, not the dead, and all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. He is our Emmanuel, Ebenezer, Yahweh Ire, Yahweh Shammah, Yahweh Al Shaddai, Yahweh Roi, Yahweh Rafeka, Eshu Nasi, Eshu Masiha, Malekha, Malekhim. He is our Yeshua Sarha Shalom, Yeshua Tizat Kenu, Yeshua Tazaruzi. He is a mighty God. Hallelujah. And all power, every power and authority in heaven and earth belongs to our living God, Jesus Christ. Even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes. And the word is true, it says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yes, the word is true. 
I shall not want. It is true for my every brother sister. For Lord Jesus Christ came in this world, not for the righteous, but sinners for repentance. Yes, sinners like me, he came and he's loved all of us. He's loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 is true. Yes, and also he will do what is appointed in my life as per his appointment. The word is true in Job 23 verse 14. For he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. Job 42 verse 2 is true. He is our I am who I am. Remember that, beloved. In, it speaks in Exodus 3 verse 14. And for our every problems, the word says in Exodus 33 verse 14, a mighty God is saying, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give you rest. I am witness of Lord Jesus Christ. And the word came true in my life. Only believe, fear not, only believe. Where everything turned to be futile, for man is but a breath in his nostrils, is true. Isaiah 2 verse 22. The words are living and true and everlasting. Yes, we read in Revelation chapter 19. And the word is life, the word is spirit. John 6 verse 63 is true. God, our living God, will speak to you, beloved, as you draw near to him. And bestowing wealth on all those whom he loves and making their treasuries full is true. Claim the promise. As we read in Proverbs 8 verse 21. Yes. And let us pray for those who are in the sick bed. Lord Jesus Christ, touch my brother, sister, children and listener who are in the sick bed. Heal them in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53 verse 5. You took our infirmities and carried our diseases. Matthew 8.17 is true. Yes, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. What miracles happened 2,000 years before. Let it happen today and now. Yes, we claim the promise. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Thank you for loving us. For you have loved us even before we loved you. Help us to love you with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. The very first commandment, Exodus 20 written by the finger of God, is true. Help us to love one another and to love our neighbor. As we read in Luke 10, 25 to 27, and you shall live. The word is true. Fill the place with your mighty presence. Yes. Thank you for answering our prayer. Bless the children, the youth with thy wisdom for their exams, for their academics. And also, yes, be with my every brother, sister, Provide their needs, for you are a Yahweh Ide. Genesis 22 verse 14, Genesis 22 verse 8. Let there be showers of blessing in my listener's home. Yes, as we read in Exodus 34 26. And bless us with thy peace and joy, for you, you, are, you are the Prince of Peace. As we read in Isaiah 9 verse 6. You are our wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Thank you for this time to pray and answering our prayer. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Be blessed today and every day. Remember the prophecy for this year for you and me is from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The word says that I know your thoughts. God is saying to you and to me. And I have plans of future hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you. The word is true. Yes, be blessed today and every day. Arise and shine is the message for you and me. Isaiah 60 was 1. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me, to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15 Yes, and for all your prayer requests, do send us an email. We will pray for you. 
the email id is given in the description and as the lord is leading you you can send us your tithes free will offering thanks offering as this is the mission for the blind remember the word which says in all these things we are more than conquerors romans 8:37 and a mighty god has said to you and to me i will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be frightened be strong and courageous deuteronomy 31 verse 6 is true thank you for the precious moment our lord jesus christ is with us and he is with us till the end of the age as we read in matthew 28 god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen